Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Bike Social. I'm Michael, and you join me once again in Hinkley at the Triumph Motorcycles headquarters. And we have uh, another new motorbike for Triumph for 2021, and it's the updated Street Scrambler. But it's not just the Street Scrambler, we've also got the Sandstorm Limited Edition. And in this video, I'm going to be talking to Miles Perkins, Head of Brand Management for Triumph, uh, about both bikes, so stay with me. Miles, welcome to Bike Social. Thanks for having us. Thanks for inviting us here again. I spend oh, more time Michael. here than I do uh, do at my own house, I think. Yeah, you Just, and me both. Well, <laughs> you've spent so much time and effort. Well, all of Triumph, all of your uh, your guys and gals have been super busy. You've had so many different bikes out this year, haven't you? From yeah. what 850 Tiger Sport, uh, Speed Triple 1200 RS, the Bonneville Range, the what have I missed? Trident. Trident. The Trident, yeah. All sorts. You, uh, yeah, very, very busy for 2021. And of course, we saw the seven... There were seven models, weren't there, in the Bonneville range, I think were updated recently. Yep. And here we are with two more Street Scramblers. So yep. we've got a, dare I call it the stock version, then the limited edition. Just tell me a little bit about why they needed to be updated. Was it Euro 5, presumably? Absolutely. So almost all of them have now come through primarily because of the Euro 5 emissions update, which has impacted all of them in regards to improving their emissions. But across the range, there have been a variety of challenges and changes but now they're all Euro 5 spec, mm -hmm. with one more to come. Speed Twin. That's right. Sometime uh, in the next few weeks, we'll ah, share more information on that. Another new bike. Well, uh, I shall hopefully be returning in that case. And it's just worked out quite nicely, is that, uh, because 2017 the model was introduced, 2019 it was updated, and here we are two years after that. It's just, it's just progressed nicely, hasn't it, with the two-year increments? Yeah, I, I think um, m most, of our, most of the bikes you would know from Triumph have continuous development teams working on them mm. and in terms of the Bonneville family there's a, there's a big team working on the Bonnevilles all the time uh, continuously looking at you know engine development chassis development technology etc and in, in this generation as I said the Euro 5 is mainly driving it but there are other changes in regards to what what effectively is a 20 a new 2021 edition so if, if I take, should I take sure, you through yeah, the, the list? So the, first off you can see is um, we have new colours for 2021. Yeah, this really is the nice. urban grey, which urban I think is quite lovely. We have a new two-tone green uh, setup one as well, which is, which is really nice with lovely new graphics. And of course, comes in a Triumph flak. In terms of the changes or, or features that are on the bike, you, I think, again, most noteworthy, you have a new aluminium number board side panel set up on the bike. You've got new finish details with the throttle body covers. You've got a new heel guard set up and headlight brackets as well. Then finally with the seat, it comes in a new adventure fabric, which is, which is nice as a development along. And then the Euro 5 update, which yeah. brings lower emissions, uh, which is a change to the cat and <coughs> a little bit to do with the breathing as well. That hasn't affected power, torque, uh, has it? No, um, no the, 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 the peak numbers are the same, so you still get uh, 80 newton meters at very low down 3,250, 3, mm. um, which I think is one of the characteristics of the, of the Bonneville engine, you get that torque nice and low down. Um, in terms of the peak power, that's the same at 65 um, PS. But the, both of the numbers, and that's at 7,250 <laughs> RPM, those two peak numbers are ever so slightly different, and that reflects the changes to do with the Euro 5 engine. Yeah. But pretty much you're not, yeah, in fact, you're not going to be able to tell. It's very minor in terms of the, what that affects on the throttle and the curve. It's a, a metaphorical pat on the back that in, in, for the engineers to have made it so emission-friendly, but yet still retain that, 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 the character, the torque, the power that's required in this kind of style or this model. Yeah. Um, it's always been a popular model, hasn't it? Since 2017, it's been one of the most popular in the range, is that right? It, it has. I mean, the, um, this is a, the partner, the, sort of the yin and the yang with the Street Twin, which is the biggest selling modern classic mm. as, a, as a single bike. The Street Scrambler does sell incredibly well. I think there's been 13,700 Street Scramblers since 2017 when it was first launched. And as you said, it was updated 2018, 2019 mm. with more power. And I think personally for me, the reason for that Nice low seat, 
but also the, the bars are a little bit higher than the Street Twin, your riding position's a bit more upright, and it gives you, particularly if you're urban riding or um, um, just batting around on the bike, it's just a lovely, it's a lovely place to be. Yeah, it looks great. It's, it's got a kind of iconic, or iconic look that's nostalgic in a way. It's got that kind yeah. of, you know, that history there as well. I, I, I don't understand what's going on here. And we've got the Soundstorm edition here as well. So this is limited edition, right? That's right, 775 of those around the world. It's got everything that this has got in terms of the updates. So it's yeah. got the Euro 5, you have the new aluminium side panel, the headlight bracket, the heel guard, the throttle body finishes and the seat finish. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, you've got quite a few, uh, I, I think really the desirable accessories fitted as standard. You can see we have the, the high front mudguard. Yep. You've got the tail tidy fitted as yep. standard. You've got the brushed aluminium sump guard yep. as well. And you have the knee pads yep. fitted as standard. And then finally the headlight bezel, which is a nylon, tough nylon finish design. Just gives um, it a bit of an edge, doesn't it? Yeah, plus the paint scheme, which yeah. is a tritone scheme inspired by the desert racers, the original sort of scrambler desert racers of the 60s and you get a certificate as well, which has the bike's VIN number on. Okay, uh, so are they individually numbered? It's individually VIN numbered on the right. certificate, right. but the bike itself is not individually numbered, no. Why 775? Why 775 is I think that with, with, with limited editions, you want exclusivity, you want them to be accessible in terms of price, and of course the, des the balance of desirability, price, and uh, accessibility around the world usually ends you up somewhere between 500 and 1,000. And what we always do, of course, is talk to customers, talk to our dealers as to um, what the interest would be. We show quite a few people where we're thinking of this. And from that, we usually get a fairly good estimate as to what the right number is. And in this case, 775. What's the price difference between the two? Are there any increase? So with the standard 2021 edition, um, this is the, exactly the same price. Yep. Although, um, to be fair, the Euro 5 update's quite a convoluted thing to do and also more expensive. You've got pre additional precious metals and development. It's got secondary air uh, system in it. So there's a lot of development there and we have additional features added. But the price is the same, um, so this is £9,300 in the UK, stays the same. And with the Sandstorm edition, that's £600 more, so that's £9,900. And for that, of course, you get the paint scheme, yeah. the additional touches with it as well, and the exclusivity. Sure, sure. Brilliant. Well, that seems like a, a really good deal then, because if you took that and then added all the bits, it would be more than £600 difference, of course, then you, you wouldn't have this colour either. But. So you'd certainly be getting up there, yeah. Yeah, excellent. And uh, are they both in dealerships fairly soon? Are they imminent? The Sandstorm edition will come first sometime around May. I don't know the exact date, and it obviously it will vary where you are in the UK. Um, so sometime around May for the Sandstorm, and this will be July. Okay. But both will be available to put deposits on straight away, so our Triumph dealers will be very happy to take a deposit. And of course, if you want one of these, they're limited, and uh, 775 is not just the UK, that's the worldwide number. So if you like the look of that, I would say get, get, in, it, fast. get in. Mars, it wouldn't be a triumph without a, a ream of accessories. Ream, is that a word? I don't know. Um, but lots of accessories <laughs> available. Uh, yeah. I assume it's the same deal with, uh, yes. with the Street Scrambler. Yep, so with the Street Scrambler, there's 120 Goodness. triumph accessories uh, that you can choose, and that includes luggage, style, security um, features, and the Sandstorm, of course, shows you some of those with the high mud guard uh, and the bash plate and the tail tidy that's on there. But also, I think uh, one of the coolest features on these are the panniers that you can yeah. get with them, oh, yeah, uh, yeah. which I think really adds to that kind of urban look. What, what are the most popular accessories? Pretty much the ones that are on here, actually. So tail tidy, uh, the luggage system is popular. The high mud guards are popular fitment. I mean, there's a lot of embellishes and little details that you can do. People uh, tend, tend to... Uh, uh, tend to go in lots of different directions yeah. with that. And is there, have you got a figure on how many people, how many customers do accessorise? Yeah, it's very high across the whole Bonneville family, but with the street scrambler range, that's over 80% of bikes that go out as new bikes have accessories 80%. fitted to them. Wow. Uh, and of course, the, the benefit with the Triumph accessories, not to be too salesy, but they are developed with the bike. 
by the teams in, uh, you know, with it in the same design facility mm. that's just around the corner here in Hinkley, uh, all in-house developed, and they all come with the same warranty. And of course, okay. you've got a very high uh, service, first major service level with these at 10,000 10, miles, 16,000 kilometres, and of course, the two-year uh, limited mileage warranty as well, which, um, of course, you add that to the accessories, and that yeah. gives it a real safe bet. And presumably you can accessorise this further as well, can you? Yeah, you can, you can add everything, uh, everything to that that you'd want to add. Lovely job. Well, look, there's one thing uh, left to do. Can we hear it? Do you mind if I turn it on? Of course. Everyone if we loves... don't set the alarms off in here, yes. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Everyone loves the sound of a twin, eh? It's a nice purr, isn't it? It's got a lovely burble. Miles, thank you so much for introducing us to the uh, two new street scramblers. Hopefully we'll see you soon with the Speed Twin, by the sounds of things. Uh, good stuff. Right, thank you for joining us. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, tell all your friends. And if you've got any questions for myself or for Miles, uh, let us know in the comments section below. See you next time. Thank you.